Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for March 21st. Today's devotion is titled, Helping as God Helps Us. The Bible reading is from Isaiah chapter 58, verses 6 to 12. No, this is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that bind people. Share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless. Give clothes to those who need them and do not hide from relatives who need your help. Then your salvation will come like the dawn and your wounds will quickly heal. Your godliness will lead you forward and the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. Then when you call, the Lord will answer, yes, I am here. He will quickly reply. Remove the heavy yoke of oppression. Stop pointing your finger and spreading vicious rumors. Feed the hungry and help those in trouble. Then your light will shine out from the darkness and the darkness around you will be as bright as noon. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Some of you will rebuild the desert, not the desert. Des <laughs> Some of you will rebuild the deserted ruins of your cities. Then you will be known as a rebuilder of walls and a restorer of homes. Ole Casau of Copenhagen loved bicycling. One morning when he saw an elderly man sitting alone with his walker in a park, Ole felt inspired by a simple idea. Why not offer elderly people the joy and freedom of a bike ride? So one sunny day he stopped at a nursing home with a rented trishaw, a three-wheeled bike and offered a ride to anyone there. He was delighted when a staff member and an elderly resident became the first riders of Cycling Without Age. Now, more than 20 years later, Ole's dream to help those who miss cycling has blessed some 575,000 elderly people with 2.5 million rides. Where? to see a friend, enjoy an ice cream cone, and feel the wind in their hair. Participants say they sleep better, eat better, and feel less lonely. Such a gift brings to life God's beautiful words to his people in Isaiah 58, verses 10 to 11. Help those in trouble, he told them. Then your light will shine out from the darkness, and the darkness around you will be as bright as noon. God promised, the Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. God told his people, some of you will rebuild the deserted ruins of your cities. What might he do through us? As he helps us, may we always be ready to help others. In your town or city, who needs help? What simple assistance can you offer them today? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.